I have the Google Pixel 4a right here and today I want to show you all of the ways that you can reset this phone and return it back to stock Android and even go as far as showing you how to unbrick the Google Pixel 4a and fix any type of boot loop issue that you may be currently experiencing. So there are a wide number of reasons why you may want to reset your Google Pixel 4a smartphone. And if you're actually able to boot into the Android operating system, then there is a very easy way for us to do a factory data reset. Once we go into the settings application, we're just going to tap on the system option bring in the advanced menu and then tap reset options. Right here you're going to see a re erase all data and factory reset, which you are also given the ability to erase downloaded sims. So if you want or do not want to do that, be sure to check or uncheck that box and then tap the erase all data button down there at the bottom. Now if you are unable to boot up into the Android operating system, maybe you're currently experiencing a boot loop, then that method is not going to be available for you. If that is your case, you're going to need to get the phone into a powered down state, or you will at least want to time the volume down button press right when the Google Pixel 4a boots back up from one of the boot loop cycles. So what we're doing here is we're just going to boot the phone up into recover or fast boot mode right here. This method of doing a factory data reset is actually going to first have us boot over into recovery mode. So we're going to press the volume down buttons until we see that recovery mode option highlighted and then we press the power button to select it. Now I'm showing you how to boot into recovery mode before. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that, look in the video description and I'll be linking to a step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you how to do that. Once you have booted into the stock recovery mode, we can then just press the volume down button until you select the wipe data factory reset option and then we press the power button to select it. Then we're going to confirm that we want to do the factory data reset by again highlighting that option and then pressing the power button to select that option. That will do the exact same factory data reset that we just did from within the Android operating system. But this is a method that you're gonna to wanna to use if you cannot boot into the Android operating system, which is very common if your device is currently in a boot loop. Now the third and final method of returning your Google Pixel 4a to stock Android is going to require you to have the bootloader unlocked ahead of time. If you have not unlocked the bootloader before, then you're likely unable to manually flash the Android images, the firmware images with Fastboot. But if you have, like I have shown you how to do in the past, then we can easily do that by first booting the Google Pixel 4a into Fastboot mode aka bootloader. Now you're also going to have to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on the PC. And you're going to need to download the current firmware that matches what you're currently running on your Google Pixel 4a. You're going to need to download that from the official Google website 
which I'll be linking to down in the video description. And now that we have the Google Pixel 4a in fast boot mode, we can go ahead and connect it to the PC with a USB cable. And I can show you how we are going to manually flash those firmware image files. This is the firmware that I've downloaded from Google's website. Again, I'm going to be linking to that website in the video description. When I extract it into its own folder right here, it gives us this folder, which is the current build number for that firmware. Then when we go into that folder, you're going to see a number of files and finally a folder within here. Now we're going to, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy or cut this entire firmware or in all these files. And we're going to need to put it in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So we're just going to paste that into this folder. If you need to overwrite any files, those files are likely going to be previous firmwares or previous files of older firmwares that you currently have in that ADB and Fastboot folder. So I would say it's pretty safe to overwrite those unless you're needing those for future reference. So we have pasted these files, this entire firm firmware, into our minimal ADB and Fastboot folder. So we can then open up a command prompt within that same ADB and Fastboot folder. And if you want, you can go ahead and execute the Fastboot space devices command and make sure you get a response like this and not a response that says waiting for device. If you get a response that says you're waiting for a device, then your Google Pixel 4a is not recognized by your PC. It's likely going to be a USB related issue, a USB cable, USB port, USB drivers, one of those issues. When you're ready though, you can go ahead and type out the command flash dash all dot bat. As you can see here, this is going to execute this batch file right here. And if you're running a different operating system, you have other shell scripts that you can use right there. Now, if you want, you can actually in Windows double click and execute that flash all file. I don't recommend that because whatever the output of that command prompt script is, the command prompt window is going to disappear the second that script is finished executing. So it might execute properly and do exactly what you're wanting it to do and then it'll just disappear. However, if there is any type of errors or conflicts, then you're not going to be able to see what that error is. So you're not going to be able to troubleshoot that. That's why I recommend doing it from a command prompt, but it's up to you. So again, we're just going to type out that flash dash all dot BAT. And we're going to press enter on the keyboard. You're going to see the basically the log of that script right here and you're going to see your Google Pixel 4a rebooting a couple of times but not rebooting into the Android operating system during all of this it's going to be rebooting back into fast boot mode so that it can continue executing these scripts even right now, it's currently booted into a Fastboot D screen. We're simply waiting. We're simply waiting. Right now, it is sending part of this file.
Now let's move it on to the second part of that file. Again, we just need to be patient here. There's no need to press any buttons on the Google Pixel 4a. There's no need to type anything in the keyboard. We're just letting the flash all script run. And as mentioned, if we had just double clicked on the flash all.bat file, we would see all of this. But again, if there was any type of error, this entire screen would just disappear and we would not see what that error is. We're simply waiting until we see that finished message right there and we can press any key to exit which will simply exit that command prompt. When that happens you should see your Pixel 4a actually reboot and then boot into the Android operating system. This boot cycle is going to take a little bit longer than normal so please be patient while the phone resets and reboots and takes you to the Android activation screen. And there we have it. We have the Google Pixel 4a back up and running after we have manually flashed the stock firmware images using Fastboot.